Hey, hey, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I was just setting up the Switch, uh, because, hey, Kirby got released, and I got my copy of it, so. Just making sure there wasn't anything to download for it, like an update, but it's there on the side. And I'm going to play it after this, so it's going to be, it's going to be good. Ah. <sighs> Well, let's continue Wind Waker, shall we? Uh, and yeah, thanks for clicking if you're watching this later. Also, hey, confirm me and Sandy. Okay. Wait, is, isn't this where I... Oh, no. It's just all ominous looking. Okay. Right, so pirates are on the island. That's what I remember. We've also got mail. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some king crest, or knight's crest, why did I say king? And return to me, Orca. Knight's crest, huh? I don't know why I said king. I think there was a game that used to be on our old computer called King's Quest. I think I just kind of derped and thought it said that. That is one angry beetle. <laughs> that painting. In honor of all your Knights of Insomnia. What, so you mean 45 Knights of Insomnia? Place a decorative object here. Sincere good wishes will soon cover the join of pure joy. The Joyous Volunteer Association. Okay. Hang on. Okay, where's my what the where's my other stuff? Hang on. Hmm. Okay. No idea where my other stuff is, anyway. That's cool. Oh, it's this bag here. Got it. Sorry, I'm looking at the bottom screen. I don't even know what I would put there. It's fine. Just wanted to give me a bit. Well, thank you either way. Just curious if the number had any correlation. Slept from one in the afternoon till two in the morning. Damn. You're basically like, uh... You're like on European time, basically, in terms of sleep. You're nocturnal. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I'm more of a night out as, as well. I just saw some of the strangers here in town. They went over towards the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? Okay, guess that's what we're going. Honestly, if I had a choice, I would do all my stuff at night. Because I'm just better. At night time. But, you know, society functions a different way. I find the sidling to be a little clunky sometimes. Like, I, it comes up, I press it, and then it doesn't do it right away. I have to readjust.
Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely got to have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo, really. Just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever set sail. Or sail the seas, geez. The greatest. You idiot, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. <laughs> what, miss? We have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, uh, is, is what I meant to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So... What say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island, you saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sounds of things, you're worried more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow morning, you babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye, aye. Say there, brother. What was the today's password again? Marco, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Chumley, yeah? Remember. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Chumley, yeah? Chumley, eh? Yes, it's Chumley, eh? Say it louder. Say say all your secrets louder. Spray paint it on the wall so you don't forget. <laughs> Classic villains just, uh, yeah. Announcing their plans. Oh, you want help? You want help? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll charge you 10,000 rupees for help, just like you tried to charge me 10,000 for bombs. How about that? Can I just... I can take his stuff, right? No? I'm not selling bombs to a 12 year old, not a bad guy. Uh, like, touche? Huh? 
But I don't look like the average 12 year old, do I? Well, I can't pull out my weapon, so I can't free him. Is there anything here for me, or... What? Whoa. Wait, what? What, what happened? Oh. <laughs> the camera got a little drunk. I was like, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the camera just suddenly snapped inside the wall, I don't know why. Okay. I, I guess there's nothing else to be done. I tried to frame, it doesn't give me the option, so... What? Are you laughing at me getting stuck in the wall or me throwing stuff at the dude? Like, explosion of coins on his head. The noise he made? He made a noise? Well, what noise did he make? Yep. How do you treat a shark? Oh, crap. Um, hold on, I have to type it on the bottom thing. The muffled screaming? Okay. I guess I didn't notice. Right, right, you may enter. It's Chumley? Damn, I entered penis. But I guess it still accepted it. Interesting map up there. Yeah, but real inconspicuous. Oh, Link, my old swabby Link. So you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought, you're alive. I get it now, you came back because you miss me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright. Why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose for you to jump onto. Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next pretty tough. You hated this ship as an uncoordinated kid. Don't say that. <laughs> now, if I fail, I'm going to be as bad as an uncoordinated kid. And that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but... Okay, so, right. It's, it's a time thing. Got it. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before. Go step on it. Okay. Oh no, okay, you have to go sideways. Alright. Sorry, thought I could go along. I can res- this is a reset switch, I assume. Yeah, cool. Well, at least I thought of that. Ho 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 Okay. 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 Yeah. 
uh, can I go lower? I, I might be a bit too high for this. Yeah, see, I'm not sure how I got up so high. I don't think I can fix this. I think it's just... Oh, no. Okay, hang on, hang on. I have to do the old reverse swing. <laughs> I think it's just easier to reset at this point. I tried. That kind of sucks that you can't lower yourself down. Once you're at a particular height, you're kind of stuck that way. No, come on, there has to be a way to lower yourself. This is ridiculous. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but, like, I'm up too high again. I'm up too high again. <laughs> Trust. Okay. Now turn. You can slide down? How? How do I slide down the rope? What button? I try I'm trying to press down. Down left stick. I am. It it doesn't work. I only want the rope to stop swing. Oh well, I don't have time for that now. <laughs> okay, noted. I could have made it. This time, this 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 is the one. Yep. What? But I'm not pressing any button. It's not. It's not changing. That R stops the swinging. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Yep. Oh, well, I had it. <laughs> just, just... Yep. Okay. I, I'm not sure if that was ever explained to me. The, the, the rope stop swing was that. Oh, maybe it was. Let's try. What? You gotta be. You did it already. You're you're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time. So I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, really serious, okay? Okay. Don't 
that's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how bad things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure too. Right now, Jabun is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll all come sailing right by you tomorrow morning, and believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. Better be quick, kid. Shit. She sounds pretty mad. I should do something to slow her down. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Okay, not gonna lie, chat. I was gonna leave a bomb for him. <laughs> and then walk away, but it doesn't let you, so. Just, let's say I did. That was the, 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 the water thing expiring. I wonder if that other dude got freed yet or not. Why can't I just steal the ship? I mean, it's just here. No one, no one's gonna take it. But suppose this ship isn't magical. Uh-oh. Oh, that worked. <laughs> that worked fine. Another letter. Good evening! Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Notice from Beetle's shop ship. It's time for our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You now know where to find Beetle's floating ships. Okay. Um, I should probably buy stuff from him because I, I have 500 rupees and... Well... I should spend this money. Otherwise I can't earn more money. Oh. oh. Okay, so those are arrows. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now, just to be clear, this is this is Beetle, not Beetle, and that's spelled with two E's, not an A. It's it's not the band, the Beatles, you know. They're not in the band. We all know who this Beetle guy is, but uh, he wasn't in the band like me. Uh, we need to go back to, where's, I'm looking on the bottom screen here. I wish you could see. Outset Island, which is southwest. Okay.
but analog stick. There we go. Away we go. It'll take us a while to get there. Does anyone know any sea shanties? we can uh, kill time with. Oh, I, I just realized I have uh, a cannon now. Apparently, uh, I just have to deal with the shock being annoying. Really? No, it's dead. You can get rid of it. Ha! That'll teach it. We can get rid of the shock, just attack it with the cannon. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what if I don't have enough bombs to do this? I love how I just got these and I've, I've had to use most of them already. One more. If I run into another one of these, I'm screwed. Oh. Okay, hold on. I really wish this was not what it is right now, like, this is a little clunky. Knowing the precise spot. Like, every time I do this, I have to pretty much just wait and then just kind of time it right.
Like, I know you're supposed to go by sound, but I don't think the sound aspect is, uh, is working as it should. Maybe because it's coming through the capture card, but I don't know. It just doesn't sound, like, all that different when I get close to it. No, not that. There we go. Got it. Please be something other than money. Okay. No, that was worth it. There we go. Cool. It just gets louder. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like that to me. Maybe I just need to pay better attention to it. Alright. I need to slightly adjust course here. I'm looking at the map. Oh no, yeah, no, this is more or less correct. Alright, heading in this direction will get me there eventually. Wait, this... It's too early. What is this island? Oh, no, this is something else. I don't think... No, this is... That's the... Forbidden island. That's not where we want to go. Still got a while to go. Hopefully I don't run into anything else I have to fight. I don't really have bombs. Okay, slight detour. Alright, let me see if I can do this on with sound. Okay, to be fair, I didn't do that with sound. I kind of just, again, stopped at the correct spot. Definitely didn't do that with sound. That was once again stopping at the correct spot. Which, if I can do that every time, cool. What is that glowing thing? I've gone, of course. We're slightly off course here. I mean, since we're here. What is this? Looks like there's ice. Probably nothing I can do just yet.
Oh, it's another Korok on a tree. Okay, but like... I guess I have to know where they are. We'll do this later. But noted. Kind of. Okay, uh, we're headed this way. I'm kind of going against the wind here. I might change the wind direction to be south now, so we're not going against it. So I guess I should, you know what, I guess I couldn't do it yet, but that windmill on the previous island. I'm guessing I need to blow the western wind to it, like I said. Ah, that was going too fast. Okay, that time I was with sound, so I guess I kind of get it. It does get louder. It's just, it's not as, uh, I guess as refined as I thought it would be. I have 500 rupees again. <laughs> I have to spend. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It's as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time anyway. We can speak after with Jibun after you do. Okay. It did say to visit Swordsman. Ah, Link, you are alright. Why did you not tell me about Aral? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen harder times ever since you departed. Hmm, I do not know what you have been doing on your journey. But you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. <laughs> if I must say so, your skills with the sword are still 
at the level of a page. Try to hit me a hundred times or more before I hit you three times. <laughs> hundred times! Whoops. Supposed to parry. Oh, not quick enough. Uh oh. What? No! I pressed the button. Okay, I'm doing this again. Okay, I got this. This as many times as necessary. Double. Oh, Didn't even warn me that time. didn't warn me that time. Ugh. Okay, fine. Nearly. Dude, this is just like the the hundred skipping rope thing in, in Mario Odyssey. Is it going to be like this annoying? Parry. Like, even if I press it sometimes, it's still... You take the hit. Yeah, like, there I timed it. And I still eat it. I think the strategy is just not go for the parry thing. It just seems inconsistent. What are you doing? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to you. I got carried away. <laughs> Go away, old man. I, did, I wasn't trying to do that, for sure. It's got to be patient with the hits, that's all. 
Oh, what? That shouldn't have hit me. Okay, 30 more to go. Ah, that was... That was ballsy. Just keep going. I guess just keep going. Eventually, I think he'll he'll say stop, or he's just gonna punt me. for double what he asked. Then if there's a reward associated with it, I will get max reward. Uh-oh. Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, we'll see what we got. 152 blows. You have improved. I guess it's wrong with me to treat you like you're still early page. You are a page no more. Now you are a knight. Knight is not much, but it is now yours. Take this with you. <sighs> that was pointless. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, just so we're not wasting time. Uh... The training game. I just want to see... If you do get anything for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wish I didn't see that. Okay. I have to do this again. Alright. We might be we might, we might be here a while. This is as bad as the skipping rope thing in Mario. Why does this have to be so inconsistent, honestly? only counts for two strikes so it's not it's not worth going for it and risking taking a hit Oh. 
Yeah, th this is not gonna be fun. <laughs> this is going to be an exercise in patience. bring my A-game here. I was thinking, oh no, this reward's gonna be easy to get. I did well. No, I did not. <laughs> this is far from over. That is such bullshit. That he still gets you anyway. This feels like the skipping rope thing from Mario Odyssey, and I hated that too. Yeah, the camera's being weird, I'm not gonna get too aggressive here. Came at the right time. <laughs> Came at the good part. Sure. Hello, user of the Tron. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't warn you. It doesn't give you the window. I think what I don't like about it is sometimes it gives you the command to do the parry thing and you execute it, but then he still hits you anyway. That's the part that I find most tilting about this. That time it worked. Yeah, 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 take the hit anyway, yeah. 
That was okay. That was my bad there. But. I can't believe the amount of times you have to hit him. No, see that? See that? Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. I feel like I did that timed well, but it's still... Oh no, you're going to take a hit. I wasn't pressing a button there and he did a leap strike, but maybe there's delay or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just think it's, it doesn't behave consistently regardless of the direction you're pressing. Maybe it just might be me, but I just feel like the timing's not consistent. I'm just gonna go for a normal thing. Slow and steady. It's just not worth it to do an extra hit to do the parry thing and potentially get hit. Like, I'd rather just wait. If a parry was worth five, sure, but it's only worth two. There's not really a whole lot of point to risking it.
This is a war of attrition. Gone. There we go. Like once I get over a hundred, I just don't want to mess it up. It just takes ages to get up to a hundred. Still got two more lives. Three hits at a time. So, how's everyone day? How's everyone's day going? <laughs> Let's do general conversation. We may as well. <laughs> My day was fine. It's a Friday, so I'm glad that it's the end of the week. It's a little bit hot, but it's all good. Summer's almost over. I'm being a little extra greedy. That is good, good to hear. Oh my god. It's winter, it's great, but is it like the super cold winter or just the bearable winter? I guess it depends where here is. Anyone like this? <laughs> Takes an eternity to get up to this point. <laughs> this is probably the longest minigame I've seen in a Zelda game. It's fun. No, I'm sure as a training thing it's fun, but like. I don't know. I feel like 300 hits is excessive. Especially because. He doesn't change his movement pattern, it's just the same thing over and over again. If he was to increase in difficulty as you go higher, sure, but he doesn't. He's kind of just... Bragging rights the further you get. My chat member in Christ, there are better things to brag about than this. I suppose among siblings if you had this game, yeah. Could be like, haha, I made it up to 300. Oh, he faked me. Oh, 
Ugh. That was a little scary. No! Oh! No! Oh, no! <laughs> he double did it. Yeah, but like, that's not what I was going for. Swordsman. That was... I can't believe that just happened. Okay, if I'm going to do this, I need to get another drink out of the fridge. Hold on. <laughs> I need a beverage. I have this uh, sugar-free pineapple and watermelon drink. It's pretty fucking good. Ah. Oh, that's refreshing. Okay. Please, I've hit my head against harder brick walls than this. <laughs> the most famous one. When I was playing the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, right? Oh, the original game did not have time trials, so they added them in. So I was like, oh, I can do time trials. I did it in Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3. How hard could it be? I'll tell you how hard. One stream I spent... Four and a half hours trying to get the Platinum Relic on that bridge stage. And the stream ended with, after four and a half hours, I was about to make it. I had the time. And then the very, literally the very last jump, very last jump, um, the hitbox fucked me over and I fell through the floor. And I died. And I have no, like, I don't get, I get... All right, I get salty at games, but sometimes it's comedic, you know, it's just like, yeah, yeah, it's salt, it's funny, I can shake it off. That one, I felt physical pain. <laughs> I let out a yell, and I felt physical pain. And that's only really ever happened to me twice during streaming, so. It was four and a half hours of the bridge level, and you, it became the measure of, okay, if I ever ever have to do something in a game and it approaches that point just remind me of the bridge stream that's all four and a half hours and some of the other relics took multiple streams to do but it just didn't hurt as much because after two hours i'd stop that one was four and a half hours straight of me attempting that level because that game had physics problems. I've hit my head against the brick wall. A metaphorical brick wall. Not a literal one. I might just restart it. Okay, I'm gonna focus. I think this is way too many hits to have to do, in my opinion. Like, I think 300 should be the final reward. 500. How long does it take to even get up to 500? This is definitely the longest minigame I've seen in a Zelda game, for sure. I don't know of another one that would even come remotely close to how long it takes to do this one. And it's not because... It's a mix of, I guess, just time it takes to get to 500 hits, but also just how tricky it is. It's just... I don't know. I really don't want this to be half an hour of the stream, but it, it might very well become that. I bet you that the, whatever the next dungeon is, I'll be able to get it done in less time than this. That's all right. I think that's where you can say that, I don't know, it might, this might be a bit excessive. Ha, 
Forgot what the rewards are. I looked it up. 500 is a heart piece. Just before I, like, threw myself into this, I, I went and looked. Though I think at 600, something else happens. I didn't completely read it, but there is a 600 reward. But 500 is the one where I can be like, okay, look, I got the heart piece. I don't care. You can see the champion belt thing. That's the reason I came here originally was for that, but... Like, I gotta show him one of those. <laughs> Great. Alright, now it's three hits. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, okay, yeah, okay, fine. Ah, that's so frustrating. Sure. See what I mean? <laughs> Inconsistency. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna reset it. This is too early to take this many hits. <laughs> All right. I have an idea. I I need to give my mind to make this as serious as it can be. So hang on. I need to make this very very serious.
Okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it so there's a more serious tone to this. Keep my mind in this set. This is the battle music this deserves. I hate this so much. <laughs> Why 500 hits, really?
Dude, I'm not even halfway. <laughs> Dick. All right, that's the first hit. I mean, almost 200 hits at the first heart, not bad. If I can keep that average up, I've got this. Didn't even warn me. It didn't even give me the button. All right, now I have to be extra careful. hits. This should just be 300, dude. 500 is so much of a drag, it's not funny. got me. Doing two jabs at most because I've noticed he's been he's been doing the double quite a bit, and I'm down to one hit. Look, it better to just take this slowly and not mess up than to have to get up to this point again.
<laughs> it's been 10 minutes, the music looped. This is so dumb. on one health I'd be going for the three tap but since I'm on one health we're doing two taps and that's it See? If I would do three taps there, he would hit me. Look at chat for too long, I have to focus. At less than 100 hits and then I've reached the requirement. This music is helping me keep focus. Because now I'm treating it as serious as it should be. say there is hypothetically a way to get him to stop doing the parry. I'm 60 away from finishing this. Do I really want to mess with what's been working so far? No. Like at this point, it's just like, no, just be patient. I'm going to chip away. We'll get there. We're, we're 50 off. I'm not, I'm not changing course now. Hey man, I know a shortcut so we can get home quicker. Just make a right there. Uh, but there's a tree to the right. Trust me.
Okay. Now, I'm gonna get to 600. But I have the reward, so if I fail, I'm just leaving. But I will try to get to 600. <laughs> Don't do the redeems now, I see it in the corner of my eye. You want me to do the warrior voice, but now isn't the time, warriors! There you go, you got it. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, minigame? Aren't the minigames only supposed to take five minutes? Eh? Uh? an old man in a room for 15 minutes oh yes it's been more like 20 The next dungeon is going to take less time than this, I guarantee you. Fifty more to go. Twenty five. Twenty. Twenty. Ooh, had a bit of an awkward camera moment there. What boss makes you hit it 500 times? Honestly. This is the hardest boss fight in Zelda. Demon Souls? Yeah, I guess. I got <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there it is. Enough! Okay. 600 hits. I can't believe that. Ah, 602 blows. You've improved. You've already become a swordsman, but I'm certain you can do even better. No, I can't! No, I can't. We're not doing any better than that. I put that music on on purpose because this was, like, draining my soul. 
Oh, you can eat a dick. Check this out. Ready? No, this is the music that's supposed to be there. Um, you have to hit him a thousand times to become his master, which, yeah, no, thank you. A thousand hits. Uh-uh. Not doing that. It was bad enough getting to 600. <laughs> no, I had to put- I had to put the music from A Link to the Past, like the final boss fight, so then I can put myself in the correct state of mind and be able to do it, which I did. It did work. Anyway. That's <laughs> like... I don't know how long I was in there for. I think... Oh wait, I forgot to show him the thing. Um, I think I was in there for half an hour. Okay, uh, we need to show him... this. Oh. What? <laughs> Is that a knight's crest? How many of those do you have? Come see me once you collect ten. I can teach you what they're for. Okay. Do a thousand? No. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. You do a thousand. Then I'll follow your lead. Okay, hang on. Uh... There we go. Oh, there's treasure over there. I'll look at it later. Oh. Link, Errol, don't go. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. Uh, is this on an emulator? Nope. I'm playing it on the Wii U. That's why you can't see the bottom screen. Yep. It's for real Z's of Wii U. Every single Zelda game I've played so far has been on real hardware. I have a legit way of playing every single game with the exception of one. Which, there's not much story in that one anyway, and it's rare and annoying to get, so... I think we can skip over it. I suppose there's also the ones that released on 3DO, but Nintendo doesn't count those. They like to pretend those ones don't exist. What are you? Massive lad. I can't pick up the pig. Lies. Oh, Link, you made it back. Nasty things have been happening here at night ever since you left on that boat. You better head home early today and don't come out to play until long after the sun has risen tomorrow. I'm so glad you're safe, Link. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised to hear you've returned. Just as soon as they wake up, that is. Oh, it's... Wow, even... Even in his sleep still does the massive snot bubble. <laughs> 
Did everyone know a kid like that growing up that for some reason was always snotty? I, I know I, I knew what a kid that was like that. It feels like there's just... There's always one. Like, they're, they're tropes as far as I'm concerned. Thank goodness, no? Okay. What about the annoying childhood friend? The one that was in your circle of friends, but, like, everyone kind of acknowledged that the kid was kind of annoying. So, like, if you were playing a game of tag, for example, and he was it, he would, like, do everything in his power to tag, but then the moment he was tagged, he'd be like, nah, I was paused. I was paused. We were paused. Just stuff like that. Just constantly makes up rules so they don't lose, or things along those lines. <laughs> or you'd go over to their house, and whatever gaming console they have... First of all, they would- you would never be player one, but not only that, they would give you like a Mad Cats controller or something like that, like one of those barely functional controllers that just had a plasticky feel to them. Do Mad Cats still exist, or is this like, uh, maybe I'm talking about this and people don't understand what Mad Cats is anymore, because they don't exist. But they were always the cheaper controller brand, like, you could get an official one, or you could save, like, $30 and get Mad Cats. All these things. The old ones still exist. Don't think they make new ones. Oh no, but that's what I mean. Do they still make ones for, say, PlayStation and Xbox these days? They're, they're probably gone bust. <laughs> Oh, so close. If I can only fly to the top of that hill, if only. Beneath that rock head, try the try. Oh, I nearly spoke aloud without thinking. It's a secret. Yes, quite a secret. Where? Hang on. Uh, this one. Over there? That rock? Okay. Well, we have. Uh, don't think I have much of this left. Let's try. Wait, you have a GameCube Mad Cats and it makes you run faster than a regular controller. Huh. But is that because it has a turbo functionality or it's just something janky about it that causes that? We had a Mad Cats controller for the PS1. And, uh... That thing had a horrible D-pad. Suppose I could go do the thousand hit thing and add it to like my my gaming triumphs. Go like go on dating websites and just put that in my profile. So like not to brag, but I got a thousand hits on the old man in Wind Waker. Why'd they make the GameCube D-pad so small and bad? Yeah, I know. I was playing 
the Game Boy games on uh, the GameCube player. And it worked, but the problem was the D-pad ultimately, so that's why I stopped. And now that I have the analog pocket, oh man, I can't go back. <laughs> if I do that, the panties come off. I doubt that. I don't see anything I'm supposed to hit with this bird yet. There's a cave over here, but... <laughs> I wonder if that would work. Just, uh, just list my gaming achievements. Oh, man. Like, nothing about me personally, just what I've done in games. No, just make it get struck by lightning. It's not lightning rod. Well, I mean, the only other thing... Well, I guess to be fair, like... I didn't- I did once get a date from, uh... From talking about how many hours I played as a demo man in TF2. And that I played Medic a lot. <laughs> I flexed my demo man in Medic hours. Uh So maybe it, maybe it can work. I don't get it. There's not there's nothing up here. I don't see anything different. I got another piece of bait. Let's just see what, what. What are you saying? Fly to the top of that hill, if only beneath the rock head. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. It's definitely not the leaf. Beneath the rock head. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. Beneath the rock head. This is all that's beneath the rock head. There's nothing else here. There's gotta be another one. I guess I should go here as Link. Alright, I guess that's where, what we'll endeavor to do. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yep. Yep. Hmm.
Yeah. Maybe I've just overcomplicated this and you just glide across. Maybe that's all it is. We'll try. Yeah, okay. That's all well and good, but like... What does this achieve, if anything? The only other thing I can think of, which might not be intuitive, but let's just see. Okay, it's not that. Uh, I don't know then. What did they say? It said beneath the rockhead, if you could fly over there. So I tried off a seagull. Yep. There didn't seem to be anything I could see up there. Yep. Before that, before that, we were just coming to this island and said to visit the family. Which I did. And it's not going to be morning, but they keep saying to wait till morning. The people are said to go to this island. That there's something on this island. Unless I have to go on boat behind the island or something. I'll go have a look. But I don't see anything with the bird. Are you ready? If that's the case, we must search for the cave around the back. Uh... Okay. Fine. Oh. How do you get out of this? Maybe I just have to... Okay. Maybe it's just a matter of hitting. The bird is like, am I done messing around? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit self-aware. I only have seven shots, so I gotta get this right. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? The first one came off easily. I thought aim for the centers of those things. Okay, there we go. And the last one, I assume, is going to be, like, the middle. I think I should go buy more bombs before I do anything else. <laughs> Somehow that wall was tied to that. Okay. Or maybe we can assume that... While we're in here, we're going to get it. Oh, hello. Well met indeed, Jabun. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yeah. 
Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Are we going inside the belly? Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one, and yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do, it is the only way. I just got, like, just Jabba the Hutt vibes from this. I almost asked for Han Solo. Wait, really? The Water Spirit Jabun was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. You usually got this for doing a dungeon. Why am I not reading the Hylian text too? For uh, pretty much the same reason that I sometimes don't read Twitch chat. It's just gibberish. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. I love that the voice lines overlap. <laughs> Dragon Boat just talks over. That's fine. I'm sure that said farewell. Galen's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabun gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed one of each pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly the search for Jabun has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now so that you will not have any regrets later. I already have regrets. That ship has sailed. Get it? Because I'm on a ship. It's too dangerous to go any further. We must go in this direction. We must turn back. What? Oh, we're at the edge of the world here. Right. Okay, hang on. We need to go in this direction. Oh, there's no music again. Okay, well, in that case. Okay, as, as much as I like this bit, I need to listen. <laughs> I need to hear it. Hang on, go back. I'll get the treasures and I'll play the music. There we go. From now on, the boat's name is Lapras. Ah. Was that money? Oh, God damn it! I need to spend this money. <laughs> this is such a waste of treasure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, as, as we were doing.
It does take a while to get from place to place. So this appeared to be like a common complaint of this game was that when you were sailing around, it was just this empty void the majority of the time. I can kind of see that. Okay, hang on, we need to make a couple of stops here. Oh, look at that, even with the Pokemon music going. Uh, I didn't do that. The, the song just ended naturally, so I guess good timing. Okay. That is fish. Here do you go, fish. Hoy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Then start by opening your sea chart. Okay. Is that Delfino Island? <laughs> no. Isle Delfino. Tell me, small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The wind deity Cyclos uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard. Oh, so there is fast travel. If you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea. Wouldn't that be nice? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give you his power easily. You can't get near the guy, so you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Uh, don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, whip, whip. I tell you, you got my point, Fry. Whip. And that's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know? And with that, I'm off. A whip? <laughs> like what, we have to become one of the Belmonts from Castlevania or something? <laughs> oh. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. The end of the sea. To the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos wrath blow you away. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go to you. Dude. Dude! <laughs> Where are we? Link, you alright? It would seem that Cyclo, the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards human. As you go forward, it would be wise not to try and get sucked up. But no can find a way to harness the power. You do not have an item yet that can pierce distant targets. Alright. Yeah, but you just wasted my time. <laughs> I'm back here. Now I gotta do all this again! Ah, fine. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, 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 and all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Don't know how the rest of the song goes. <laughs> I, sh I, need to, I need to stop getting these treasures. As I pulled it up, I'm like, wait, why am I pulling it up? It's just going to be money again. 
I need, I have to stop doing this. I'm wasting the treasure. It is, it is a waste. I miss the bank feature from uh, Majora's Mask. Okay, this time I shouldn't get pulled into that cyclone. I think we're okay. I'm far away enough from where it was. The first stop, stop will be that island over there. Oh, geez, it's already 10 o'clock at night. I didn't even realize how late it was. <laughs> that sword fight just uh, ate up quite a bit of time. Wait, is this even the island? I don't think this is. I think this is something else. What is this? This isn't where I'm supposed to be, but I guess let's have a look. There's another fish over there, too. <laughs> Why am I collecting this money? This looks nice. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, no, okay. I mean, still... Okay, four... Not, not really that frightening. The Breath of the Wild ones are way more frightening. Young Waker of the Winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. You can carry more bombs. Maximum of 60. Can I can I get 60 right away? The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Well, this was 100% worth it. Also, uh... Hold on. While I'm here, I guess. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so good. That face is like, help. What? We were just here to help you. Why would you trap me in a bottle? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it just looks so sad. Man, this makes you feel like a dick. I mean, well done. That, that's that's great. I mean, I guess that's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> Trapping them in a bottle. It's not like they're voluntarily uh, going along with it. Okay, so... Hold on. Where is the fish that I saw? Over, the, over there.
Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island? Then start by opening up your sea chart, as usual. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but seriously, try digging there. What? You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd say try using an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some bait. Am I am I gonna use bait to make the pigs help me? Is that what's what's about to happen? Like I'm gonna take control of a pig? Um, on board if that's the case. Alright, so I'm arriving on the tile where I'm supposed to drop stuff off. It's this one here. I was gonna say I don't see anything, but uh, okay. That's probably where I need to go, over here. Ah, uh, okay. So now this explains it. This thing that I came across earlier that I had no idea what it was, now it makes sense. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. Hey, Evie, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Jeez, you're up late slash early. <laughs> you place Nehru's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Go away. Wait. No, wrong button. This one. It's 6 a.m. already. <laughs> yeah. What were you up to tonight? Was it a Jeopardy night? That would be my guess. Oh, what am I doing? I mean, maybe it'll work? No. Alright, I'm just gonna get on my boat and leave. A game called Quern and Jeopardy? What's Quern? Okay, no, please, go, go, give me, uh, just head in this direction, we'll be fine. It's a mist-like game, <laughs> I don't know what mist is, what's mist? Okay, we're safe now. This was a puzzle game from eons ago. Alright, I guess while I'm sailing... Oops! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. While I'm sailing... Let's see what this game is. Missed. Okay. I mean, look at... Wait, is it really that old? Huh. Yeah, I've never heard of this before. But I guess it's probably from the era where I wasn't playing PC games because we just didn't have a good computer at home. I was pretty much only playing console games. 
until I got my first real computer. Oh, Evie, I have a recommendation for you. I just, I haven't had time to pop into your stream, because this week's been busy, but... Um, I played it during Next Fest. They had a demo for it. It's not out yet, but I think you'd enjoy it. It's a puzzle game with a very cute art style. Hang on. I gotta check my wish list. Uh, I put it on my wish list. I'm terrible with names, but it'll 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 come back to me when I see it. Right, there's the other island. Uh, Planet of Lana. It's like, you're a boy and you control this... You give this pet instructions, it's very wholesome. I don't know if the demo's still up. You might be able to still get the demo, but, uh... This was really... Really wholesome. And, uh, the visuals looked really nice. So, I'm definitely going to get this when it releases properly. You saw this trailer somewhere. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I played the demo, it's really good. It's just problem solving where you guide your little friend to uh, help remove obstacles for you. So you kind of team up together. And there's no spoken word in it. So, like, they speak an alien language. But with gestures, uh, you kind of figure out what's going on. So you have to piece the story together. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. It kind of reminds me of uh, Abe's Odyssey a little bit, the, the old PlayStation game, in terms of like using your friends to kind of bypass puzzles and uh, I guess security systems, but it's like a different feel to it, I guess. Uh, we are- now we need to change the wind direction for this, so... Wait. Stupid. That. This analog stick, I feel like it's broken. Hang on. Up. Left. Right. There we go. It looks cute. Oh no, it's great. Particularly the little friend. Um, it's fun as well, so... I know you like puzzle games and problem-solving stuff, so I feel like it's right up your alley. Okay, hang on, I need to avoid that cyclone. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna send me probably to the start and I'm gonna be annoyed if it does. Okay. You can't see the map on my bottom screen, but uh, I'm headed in the right direction. I wish there was a way I could share what's on the bottom screen. You gotta shove food in your face and go to bed. That's No, yeah, understandably. Get some breakfast and then go to sleep. <laughs> it's all good. But I appreciate the, uh, the raid and everything, so... Yeah, have a good night, Evie. I'll try to pop into the stream. Just... On a quieter day. I kinda wish there was music here. Maybe I should just have on the soundboard just the Pokemon Surf music. That I can just play at any point and just stop it. Okay, uh, map says head more this way. I can see the island in the distance over there. Hold on. Okay, we're taking a little detour. Uh, okay.
what direct it's north I think this direction if that building is like the other one that's going to give me something important I see a fish over there. I'll go get the map first and then I'll come back. <laughs> Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Start by opening your sea chart. Okay. Word is they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night the people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ah, the rich. Oh. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on that auction block, like an extra fast sale, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. That's cool. I should probably look into that. Okay. Um, I don't think I have something that can change time, though, yet. So we'll have to wait for next night time. It's in that rich dude's house, which would explain what that is now. Okay. I could try going there, but let's just finish this off. This might be overkill. <laughs> it's overkill. Just so I'm not accidentally dropping bait. There we go. <laughs> These are some weird looking fairies. Young Waker of the Winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. Oh, nice. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. All right, cool. All right, well, all my bomb problems are, are gone. <laughs> Definitely worth the detour, and there's another Korok tree here. Okay. I wish you could add stamps onto the map, so then I could mark these things. Uh, okay. So from here, we are heading southeast. Stick to this direction, we'll get there eventually. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta just course here. There's all these tornadoes.
Okay, see the island. It's just dead ahead. Wait, that's a... Oh, I've been here before. Hang on. Unless I'm running into him for a second time. Let's see. Yeah, Bob. You collecting treasure, Bob? To see where you can find treasure, open your map. If you compare the island charts on the right to the treasure charts on the left, you should be able to figure it out. The secret to holding up good treasures is to go to the spot indicated on the map. Okay. Alright, here we are. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. Place Ferora's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Ah! Yep. Huh? <laughs> 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 that was very cartoony, I like it. Blink just explodes. It's Bermuda's Triangle. is now fully erect. Wait, well, you said full erect, but still. I mean, I guess it's kind of phallic. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Link you mu that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Okay. Oh, but yeah, no, the wind is still... Okay. Can I just... Yeah, can I just ignore the wind? This is, this is me being lazy. <laughs> just don't want to change the direction. Okay. Okay. 
guess what, chat? To be continued. <laughs> it's been two hours and 40 minutes. And I want to play Kirby. So. We'll play more of this tomorrow. But I hope you've been enjoying the playthrough so far. <laughs> that stupid sword fight. <laughs> Blame that. If it wasn't for that, I'm sure I would have been able to do this. But no, I had to spend half an hour getting... 500, 600 hits, so... Yeah. Anyway, YouTube, this is where we bid farewell, but... I do hope you've been enjoying it. And yeah, if you want to see more of... This kind of stuff... Would you call this a retro game at this point? I don't know. But, yeah. Just let me know. Get in contact with a comment, or... Do the old thumbs up thing for the algorithm's sake, right? You refuse to call this a retro game? I mean, it, it came out in 2002. It's, it's like 21 years old. Like The Wii U is not retro, that's true, but it's, it's like a remake of a retro game. GameCube, yeah, Wii U, no, I suppose. Yeah, I'll give you that. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a short intermission for like two minutes. I just want to stretch my legs and uh, refill my bottle of water as I have run out of uh, my pineapple and watermelon drink. So, yeah. Small two-minute intermission, and then we're going to play Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, which just came out today. So, give me, give me a couple minutes. Get yourself a snack or something. But yeah, we'll play more of this tomorrow.